Today we ask the age old question. Will it pretzel? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Today we're going to see how many things we can stuff contortionist Sophie Dossi into, and we help a mythical beast check an item off his bucket list, and hopefully save some lives in the process. So seriously, please be sure to watch the third segment today. Yeah, but first, my favorite twisty food is the hot dog. It does take a long time to successfully tie one into a knot, but it's totally worth it. But for most of the other people in the world, the pretzel wins that twisty category hands down. That's why today, we're gonna find out, will it pretzel? Now for these items, we didn't just take a bunch of foods and tie them into knots and no. call it a pretzel. No, we have created pretzel dough, let it rise, baked it, but we've incorporated these other ingredients to find out if things will pretzel. Pretty excited about this first one. When someone says they're bacon, uh, I get sad when I find out that there's no bacon in what they're baking, oh, which is why we have taken Wendy's Baconator and created the Pretzinator. Oh gosh. There it is right there. All There's right. lots of components, Here's Walk what through here, it. Here's what happened. The Baconator was chopped up and then infused into the dough. We studded the top of the pretzel with the Baconator. Then more Baconator was actually pureed into a mousse that was, not a mousse, mousse, but a mousse. With a U. And then, injected, piped into the pretzel, and then some extra bacon and cheese was put on the top for good measure, and then we've got sides of Lots of bacon. Now, I think we need to cut this one in half so that- um, I think I need to cut this one in half. Uh, we can get a nice cross section of the, of just... the mousse with a U coming out. Okay. Oh, that, yeah, the way that you've done it, there's a, all right, fine, move that away from me. There's a whole Look at inside that. of- <laughs> I heard somebody go, ugh. <laughs> Why? Why you think that? This is great, savory pretzel oh, um, with lots of bacon. You wanna dip and dink or you wanna go pure? I wanna go pure. Let's go pure. Let's, we're so pure, bro. Here we go. Bank dink it. it and sink it. The Baconator is tough to take in that texture. As a mousse, yeah. Yeah. Mm, that makes it tough. And normally I'm not a texture complainer. But I've now sucked all the mousse out, which I did not like for the record. Suck the mousse. It Step didn't one, taste suck bad. Suck the mousse. And now I'm experiencing the doughiness yeah. and baconiness and cheesiness of a baconator. Yeah, once you suck the mousse, your head is clear and then you can just make a decision. I can feel Dave smiling down from fast food heaven right now. He's honest. dead? He's been dead. Huh. It starts to get really good at that point. Yeah. And so if you're taking notes at home, chuck the mousse. Skip the mousse. And just pretzelize the Baconator otherwise, and you're onto something. So, so will it pretzel? pretzel? Yes. Now we tasted a lot of different things on this show, but the one thing we've never tasted is a rainbow because we're afraid of leprechauns. <laughs> but now we can taste the rainbow with the Skittle. Yes. Okay, this thing is jam-packed full of Skittles at every turn. Melted Skittles down and then also smashed some up to form into the dough. Then we studded the top with more uh, Skittle Skittle. I like to use Skittle as a verb. We Skittled the top with Skittles. Yeah, because stud sounds like horses mating. And glazed it, yeah. And then, and then right here we've got some rainbow sherbet aioli. Sherbert? We called it sherbet until two years ago. Rainbow sherbet aioli. I also call aioli mayonnaise, cause that's what it is. You can't unmayonnaise mayonnaise by calling it an A word. Give me, give me half of this. That's not the A word. And a word. Not in my house. Now this is gonna be, it's so glazy. Oh, it's glazy, it's, shiny. it's look at, dense look too. Look how shiny it's it is. It's so heavy. It's heavy. It looks like a rolled up turd, but so what? Right. Leprechaun turd. We definitely need to dip this one before dip we it. dink it. Dink, dink it. Dink it. And sing it. Oh God. Woo, that's fruity. <laughs> the the glaze has really got it's a- It's more than fruity. <laughs> What else is it? It's sweet. I love it. You don't love? Mm, no. Anything? Okay. You don't, you're not capable of love. I'm a savory man. <laughs> I do really like surprised. sweet things, but sometimes the sweetness can be turned up a little too high. Sometimes I tell that to my wife. Mm-mm. <laughs> this is great. I don't great. like you to get too sweet, baby. <laughs> Your wife can hang out with me anytime. This is awesome. <laughs> I'm sure that can be arranged. 
I don't know why I responded to that. <laughs> I'm not a jealous man. Um, I'm a savory man. Hey, I'm biting again. I, I, I can't believe that you're reacting negatively to the Skittle. I mean, I don't hate it. It's just, I like my Skittles from a bag. And you know what? I don't even like Skittles. Okay, all right, well then I'll go with you on this one. Me, you, and my wife. Will it pretzel? Yes! yes. Some people love anchovies on a pizza, uh, but we think it's high time that the humble anchovy leave its comfort zone and land on a pretzel. I mean, it's salty, pretzels are salty. Right. Uh, maybe it will work. We present to you anti-anchovy. Okay, so we use anchovy paste in the dough, uh, then we folded whole white anchovies into the dough as well, and there's anchovies on top, and then it's served with a side of Caesar dressing because hey, surprise, Caesar has anchovies in it. Um, I'm just smelling this. That's a surprise to a lot of people. What? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry I didn't react with surprise. Yeah, well you already knew that. Smell of that, brother. Savory. Mm, maybe fishy. a little Maybe a little too. I would not call that savory. I call gravy savory. I call fishy fishy. Okay. And well, then salty this, though. And then this, ooh, this helps. This is giving me hope. Okay. Because this right here is, is no way. Uh, I'll take the little one, it's fine. There you go. I All don't right. want to eat that much. Break me off a piece of that sardine pretzel. I definitely want to make not sure sardines. I get it. Actual. What's the difference between a sardine and an anchovy? It's a different fish. Nothing. <laughs> okay, is that a joke? A really good one too, wasn't it? Nothing! Hey, you wanna know the difference between a sardine and a pretzel? Nothing! <laughs> you said you... sardine and pretzel that time. You really blew it, you really blew it. It did. Cause that, cause that joke didn't work. Yeah, it didn't. <laughs> that, was, that was too weird. Dink it. Oh gosh. Okay. Oh! It tastes like a, there was a pretzel seller. What do they call those? Pretzel a, vendor? A pretzel. A pretzel guy. Pretzler. Out on the pier, and then one pretzel fell onto the pier. Yeah. And he forgot about it. Mm -hmm. And then several days passed. And he, he took it to an Italian restaurant. It rained a couple of times. Ah. Uh. At one point, the whole ocean, there was a tidal wave that washed up onto the top of the pier. Then a child stepped on it. Then a seagull crapped upon it. And then Tess put it on a plate and gave it to us. <laughs> and all that to say, I kind of don't not like it. All things considered. <laughs> I mean, I got it down. I mean, once you get to the doy part, but is that a way to enjoy a pretzel where you gotta really focus on the doy part, not the fishy part? No, I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Will that pretzel? No. <laughs> Let's be honest, the color of pretzels could be more exciting. We get bored with the toasted brown beige blondness of it all. So why not lighten it up with the help of some hot pink? Plus, this one's got the added bonus of helping the other rounds go down. This is the pretzel bismol. What we've done is the dough is infused with liquid Pepto bismol and also parts of tablet Pepto bismol. And then on top, we've got more tablets and more powderized tablets. And then of course, a side of uh, Pepto mustard. That's Pepto bismol and mustard. That's a good looking pretzel. You know, that is enticing. Really? Yeah, man, it's pink. I will say that I always enjoy Pepto bismol. Like I, l <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Don't do that, you're, you're unpeptoing it. Yeah. I you mean, know, you know you like, just give a good. You know, in the 80s, that was a big thing. <laughs> Pepto sniffing. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to. I'm not. I'm not mustarding mine first because I'm afraid it's going to overpower. I just feel like that's part of it. I mean, it's Pepto mustard. Pepto's strong, man. What I was saying before you you Peptoed me was I've like if I have a stomach ache, not only do I enjoy the relieving effects of Pepto Bismol, I actually like the taste of it. You catch me alone in a corner with a big bottle of pep Pepto. In fact. They have to give it to me. My wife gives it to me in little little baggies because she's like, I can't leave you alone with a whole bottle. Now she's coming over to give it to me. Here, dink it and sink it. Ooh, that, I didn't add the mustard. That is a dry pretzel. You should have added the mustard. The mustard's perfect. Now, that is a, that is a desert pretzel. Dip it, dip it for a second. The pink desert pretzel is native to the Sararo area of Sararo? Sahara. I don't know. Did you, were you thinking Sahara and then you said Sararo? So what, man? Sounds like a new Kia automobile. The right, Kia Sararo. You're right, when you add a little bit of the Pepto mustard, it really starts to open up, bloom if you will. Um, like, a, like a Sararo in the desert of Sararo. I'm not hating this at all. 
I'm really I, liking the Pepto. There's a part. therapeutic effect. I'm anticipating the settling of my stomach. I know there's grosser stuff to come after this, and so this feels preemptive to me. Uh, I feel like you can have your pretzel and your medicine too. Because of the, you know, the uh, the practical utilitarian nature of mm -hmm. this, I think that we have to say, will it pretzel? Yes. yes. And finally, as horrible as this may sound, we could not pass up the opportunity to create a dish that literally is a tongue twister. Oh, God. Lamb tongue pretzel. All right, so we mix lamb tongues into the dough, then added some additional lamb tongues to the top. Now, how are those lamb tongues on the top prepared? Uh, they were boiled for safety, right? Oh, thank you for thinking of us. You said um, it, Tess. They were finished with pretzel salt. We get some pretzel salt, and then because lamb is usually served with mint jelly, we've got Listerine jelly because it's tongue. Seriously? And Ooh, me, that's strong. And let me cut this up. Uh, give me. But that. before you do, can I just can I just smell it? Can, can I just you just smell it? <laughs> you can smell it all you want. You know, it doesn't smell bad, but it it makes me think bad thoughts. Hand me that knife and let me cut this so we both get some tongue. There you go. You don't even know how to hand somebody a knife. Okay, uh, I'm gonna just come through right there. Oh, mm. there's, I mean, there's tongue galore right there. I'll just take this right here, cut it again, and then. What are we doing? I don't know. Just make, look, I got a nice boiled tongue right there on top. Oh yeah, you got it. You got it perched. And again, I think I think the listerine will help only help only help us. Whoops. I like how you draped another piece of tongue <laughs> over it just in case. Just in case. Listerine jelly. Golly. Golly, he says. Dink it. Dink it. There's gotta be some rationale that's gonna motivate us to find out if this is worth society. Well, haven't you always wanted to make out with a lamb? That's it, thank you. <laughs> Listerine coming through pretty strong. Oh. Now tongue is coming through pretty strong. Oh, it's so mushy. It's got a tongue tautness to it that you have to snap through when you're chewing. It tastes like something made for tasting, but not made for tasting. <laughs> uh, think about it. Yeah, the key is to keep breathing through the nose, chewing with the mouth, and not thinking with the brain. Just check that puppy out. It's not a puppy. Ugh, what is the gritty hard stuff? Something in the tongue. Tongue is the strongest muscle in the body, pound for pound. You ever seen a goat wrap its tongue around a wheat stalk and then enjoy it? <laughs> is that a euphemism for something? No, that, that, I think they, they stick their tongue out and they like, it's like a, maybe I'm thinking of a giraffe. A wheat stalk? You know. What, what, channel, are, what channel you been watching? That wasn't in Planet Earth the last time. I turned that on. You think you're gonna get this down? Yeah. Let's do it together. Because I'm just thinking about goats and wheat stalks now. I think I need, need a little bit more Listerine, and I'll just use this goat tongue here. It's an applicator. My, my delivery device. You said goat tongue. You're getting the lambs confused with the goats, and that'll get you in a lot of trouble. A lamb is a young goat, man. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference between an anchovy and a sardine? <laughs> I don't know anymore. Mmm. Mmm. <sighs> Did it. Swallowed it. I don't know what that makes me. <clears throat> you having trouble? <laughs> ah. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a lawnmower trying to start. <laughs> all oh. right, well, all that to say, um, will it pretzel? No! no! Of course it won't pretzel! Who, what, what did you think was gonna happen? We didn't even need to try that one, or did we? I don't know. If you like these pretzels, we'll be eating a lasagna pretzel in Good Mythical More, so keep watching to check that out. Before you do that, keep watching to see if we can fit the human pretzel contortionist Sophie Dossi in a purse. Uh. A side, B side, you'll look good from all sides in our cassette t-shirt, available exclusively on our Amazon store. That's amazon.com slash mythical. Oh, Sophie! He's in, right? You're crazy! <laughs>